Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back again for another episode. You can see eight points behind Mercedes after a great last couple of race weekends. I mean, last time out, I don't think we were as fast as them, but somehow with that safety car, we managed to flip it and uh, we are really in that battle for P3 this season with more upgrades coming onto the car. Hopefully, um, we can get ahead of them, maybe get a race win, get a couple more podiums and we can really push forward. And we've also got a couple more development points for our drivers as well magnuson in the last couple races he has been showing up so he's managed to keep that seat uh he's definitely fighting for his contract for next season whether we keep him or not that is still to be decided unlikely but we will see okay there's not any new upgrades this weekend unless you count the front wing as an upgrade because what we we only did qualifying with pierre gazzi and then he put it in the wall uh, and lost that front wing so i guess new front wing for both cars this weekend it's going to help us with a little bit of speed i think this circuit is better for us as well because we're not very good in the in the long straights and the top speed but through high speed low speed and medium speed corners we are solid so i think this track is going to be decent for us so we might be probably fighting the mercedes again maybe there's an outside shot at a potential podium it's not the strongest it's not the strongest q1 we've ever had in our lives p9 and p10 our drivers are pretty close to each other is that the maximum pace we had? I mean, we're five points off a pole, but it is a short track. So five times is actually quite a lot when you look at it. We've been beat by an Alfa Romeo, been beat by an Alpine. And we weren't too far away from the drop zone either. Only a couple times. A little bit nerve-wracking. We'll see what happens in Q2. We could be in big trouble here. Both our drivers got held up that first lap, which is, I mean, just typical. So we're going to send them out now on a fresh set of softs and hope that they can put that lap together to put themselves into Q3. If not... It could be a tragic weekend here in Canada. So let's send them out. We've sent them out at the very last moment. They're going to get the best of the track. Plenty of clear air for both drivers. Um, oh, Gasly just about makes the line. So we're going to see what sort of pace they actually have. See, they're going to be going quicker. Or oh, you should be going quicker. Uh, they're, they're running around the same times, to be fair. Um, we're going to watch Magnussen as he comes across the line. Can he put himself in the Q2? He needs to go about three and a half tenths quicker. He was held up, so he should move up the order. He goes up to P9. Okay, that's at least one of our drivers through. What about Pierre Gazzi? Comes across the line. Come on, Pierre. Make sure you're into Q3. He's out. Pierre Gazzi out qualified by Kevin Magnussen. Wow. Kevin Magnus, talk about driving for your contract. When you start out out qualifying the star man on the team, uh, I mean, fair enough. Kevin Magnuson, he's out qualified. Kevin, uh, he's out qualified Pierre Gasly for the second qualifying session in a row. He beat him in Q1. Now in Q2. So yeah, all hope lies on Kevin Magnuson as Gasly is starting P11 tomorrow. So we've done it a bit different this time. We sent Magnussen out on a fresh set of tyres for a start, and we're going to send him out on another fresh set of tyres. And, I mean, he's P6, so it works somehow. But uh, Bottas definitely got held up. Oh, shit, we need to make sure we send him out. Um, Bottas got held up. Ricardo Alonso and Ocon, I think he was just faster than them on raw pace. So P7 could very much be on the cars as he just about makes the line. We can see what everybody else's time is. So he's a guaranteed P8. If he can go a little bit faster, which he was in the first sector, um, if he can go a little bit faster in this final sector, he could get P7 ahead of Daniel Ricciardo. There's four 1000s in it. What's going to happen as he comes across the line? Magnussen, can he make himself up to P7? No, he misses out. Daniel Ricciardo gets him. So, uh, K-Mag, P8 for tomorrow's race, which is not bad. I mean, look at that time that he put in in his first lap. 8-3-8. Uh, eight, eight. And uh, Ricciardo beats him, uh, I guess it was 5 thousandths for the second in the, in the end. But three positions. Um, Magnussen starts to have a Gasly. Not used to seeing Magnussen as the lead Haas car. I mean, we saw it last race in Baku as well when uh, Gasly decided to crash out. So, maybe Gasly's having that bit of dip in form. And... Um, I mean, yeah, Magnus is capitalizing. He's showing why we need him in the team. Now, what sort of, now what sort of strategies do we go for? Do we go mediums to hard? Seems like the best one to go for. Unless do we go soft to hard? No, I think mediums to hard. We'll go mediums to hard for both drivers. This seems like the obvious one. Mediums to hard. Tell them to push at the very start, and um, hopefully we can make a few positions. Come on, then. All right, we see Magnussen back there. Gazzy a little further back. Can we get a good start 
as uh, we don't get away ahead of that Alfa Romeo for Kevin Magnussen, which is a little bit frustrating. So Ricardo stays ahead of us. Gazzy up in a P10. He's fighting alongside with both Alpines. He can maybe get right behind our teammate or his teammate. Um, but no, he loses out to both Alpines in the end. So back down at P11 he goes. A bit of a shambles there. Magnussen looking around the outside to the inside of Daniel Ricardo. Is he going to get the move done in this early lap? Yes, he is. He's going to get it done in the first few corners. Uh, we should. Down the inside. Force him a little bit wide, why don't you? Get your elbows out, K-Mag. Come on. Up in a P7 we go. Ricardo has to drop behind. And I'll tell you what. He might be making a move on the Mercedes of George Russell. Down into this turn. He gets down the inside. What a move that is. Kevin Magnussen on a roll. He wants to bring home the points for Haas. Gazi, on the other hand, he's made a move on one of the Alpines. Can he make another move on the Alpine? Down into the hairpin. This is a good place to go for the overtake, but he can't make it dumb just yet. But both drivers in the points. Magnussen breaking into the top six. It's been a good start on his opening lap. Is he going to look for a move on the Mercedes down this long straight? We don't have the top speed to do it, so we're going to have to settle for P6 for now as he almost goes into the back of Lewis Hamilton. I'll tell you what, though. He's going for a move around the outside. Hamilton on the soft tyres. Magnussen does doesn't care. Up he goes in a P5. What a move that is. And he's attacking the Ferrari now. Magnussen is on an absolute roll. He's going around the outside. Unbelievable. Magnussen is taking no prisoners. There's the race pace of this Haas car. Come on. Look at that gap that's forming between Ricardo and Bottas. Gazi needs to make a move. Can he get it down this straight? You're going to get DRS. Use the ERS. You can get past Ricardo. Russell's going to get past Daniel Ricardo. Can we make a move as well? Or are we just going to be stuck in this DRS train, which is kind of looking like it? Get a good exit here. You can make this move. Surely. Surely. Around the outside. There we go. Okay, now follow Russell, and uh, we can catch the front group. Maybe even have a go at George Russell as well down the next straight. So we need to get a move on. Try and pull away from Daniel Ricciardo. He doesn't look that fast when it comes to race pace. Magnus is doing a good job holding on to the front drivers. This, this could be a solid race for us. Oh, Jesus Christ, we heard something. Who was that? That was Sebastian Vettel. We heard him just fly into the wall. Safety car, early doors. I heard that. Who was it? It was Vettel. We're going to have to watch that replay. I, I literally heard that in my right ear. That was crazy. So, safety car out very, very early. Is it too early for a pit stop to change the strategy? I think it might be. Let's see. It's going to be way too early, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's way too early. No point. Don't even know what I'm thinking. It just helps us save the fuel, save the tires, uh, harvest a bit of ERS. Um, let's have a look what happened because we heard that in our ear. Was it the McLarens? It is the McLaren. See, we're turning that corner, and it was right behind us. He slams into the back of the Alfa Romeo, who hits the Alpine, and that's the Alfa Romeo definitely out. I think it's the McLaren out as well, surely. Yeah, so both of those drivers are out. Alonso is somehow getting a penalty. I don't know, but. All right, safety car is out. That will close the gap from Russell to Bottas. So, ready for the safety car restart. Here we go. Magnussen up at the front. Is he going to go for a move on the uh, Ferrari? Not quite yet. Gasly, is he going to go for a move on George Russell? Not quite yet. But we've got Magnussen up in a P4. The Mercedes are 6th and 7th. And Gasly is 8th. But there he goes. Magnussen around the outside. No way. Oh, my days. He's up into the podium. He's going to be fighting the Red Bulls. He's going to make... Oh, I thought he was going to go for a move on Perez. Magnussen on a roll. Gasly up in a P7. This has been a fantastic start off the safety car restart. Is he going to go for the other Mercedes driver as well? Not quite yet. He's going to be patient. Magnussen into the podium positions. He's looking at the Red Bulls. He's looking for a race win. They're on the soft tyres and he's making these moves. He's gone past Perez. Get past Verstappen. Verstappen also on the mediums. Here goes Kevin Magnussen. Oh no, he backs out of it. He drops down into P3. Red Bulls are back past. So it's important that we stay with him until the DRS. But Gazi gets past Bottas. I see exactly what he did to do that as he goes for a move on the Ferrari. He gets it done down the straight. So Pierre Gazi on a roll as well and, and there goes Carlos Sainz you can see our car is built for race performance as he goes for another Ferrari and we could be P3 and P4 yes we're using up all our uh, ERS yes we're going forward tag yes we're using up all our fuel but to get past these cars is absolutely huge Jesus Christ what is happening to Gazi Gazi's having an absolute howler he's dropped down to P9 he's really struggling to just keep the pace we have to go a bit more aggressive with him Magnussen looks like he has decent pace I mean, he's dropping away as well, but at least he's uh, somewhat staying with the front runners. 
Maybe if we push a little bit more with him, um, he'll be able to definitely stay, which he does. Gazzy, on the other hand, he's dropping behind. Ricardo just seems to have pace out of nowhere. There's a four-second gap between Russell and Bottas. But Magnussen is at least staying with the front six and giving himself a chance. Gazzy just doesn't seem to have the pace this weekend. I'm not sure. Is there anything wrong with his um, engines? No, his engines are fine. He's just not, he's just not got the pace compared to um, Kevin Magnussen, I guess. Oh, my days. He's had a nightmare. What the hell? Pierre Gazzi's done it again. He's crashed again. He crashed in Spain in the race. He's crashed in um, Baku in qualifying. And now he's crashed in Canada. He's crashed out. He's out. He can't get going. That's Kevin. Uh, that's Pierre Gazzi out of the session. So all hope lies on Kevin Magnussen again. Safety car is out. I think now, now we pit for the hards. Now's a good time to pit. It's a good time for a safety car. But what a nightmare scenario that is for yeah guys he's, he's done it again he's done, he's out of the session it's tragic and it was all his fault so he's gonna get a grid penalty next race as well we come into the pits as do a bunch of other drivers so yeah he does get a time penalty which means he's gonna get a grid penalty next race where is magnuson coming out he comes out of the pits gets out ahead of one of the mercedes i think that's bottas which is good um so the red bulls double stack so perez has dropped down same with science so p3 for magnuson onto the hard tires i'm sure everybody else is onto the hard as well yes i was hoping the ai might have a strategy blunder but they've got it all sorted so pierre gazzi is out the race what a howler all right, safety car is in this lap. We're going to try and take these um, parts to the end of the Grand Prix. I think they will make it to the end of the Grand Prix. But we don't want to push them too much, especially um, on the restart. We won't push them too much. I think the, the ideal place to finish this, this Grand Prix will be P5. I think that might be the best place. We'll finish ahead of both Mercedes, hopefully. Um, but I'm sure Perez and Science are going to make our way through. Because we can't stay with these front cars, especially... If we don't want to push these tyres. I mean, we could deploy some ERS. We'll deploy some, some fuel just to make sure we stay with them for the opening couple of laps to give us a chance. But once DRS kicks in, which it is now, if we fall out of that DRS window, we will not be able to stay with them. We have the pace. We have the pace to potentially win this Grand Prix. Looking at this right now. I mean, we're dropping away from Leclerc. Verstappen's going to breeze past and close that gap. Oh, shit. Never mind. Never mind. We've lost that. Oh, crap. We're going to have to push to try and get that one second gap back. Oh, crap. We're going to get overtaken by Bottas here, aren't we? Yeah. Fudge! We've got to close that second gap to the front, too. Why is we oh, never mind. We're going to be fighting for P3 now. Crap! Crap, we lost that gap. It was looking all so good. It was looking all so good. We, we, ha we hung with them for about, what, 13, 14 laps? And then we just dropped away. So, that's a bit annoying. That is a bit annoying. Compared to Crash again, not a third safety car, surely. We're still fighting with these guys. VSC. All right, we kind of needed that, actually. Help um, harvest some ERS, get some fuel back, and uh, preserve these tyres. I think this race with Magnussen, the goal is just beat Bottas. If we can beat Bottas, then uh, I I'd say that's a that's a good race from us. But um, Cassie's let us down. So it, either way, it's going to be a painful weekend as we get ahead of science. A podium for uh, Magnussen would be actually very good. And a podium is certainly on. I mean, look at it. We're... We're in P3 right now, and we're just fighting with Bottas, with Science, with Perez. I, I don't know whether if we get back into P3, do we try and pull away? Or do we just sit here and relax, save fuel, save our tyres, and, and save some ERS? Because we have a look at the tyres. Everybody's tyres is a little bit out of mine. They're, they're around the same, to be honest. But, um, yeah, Verstappen and Leclerc, they've run away with it. Hopefully they crash, but I highly doubt it. Now, we've just got to make sure we beat Bottas more than anything. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You were looking like a good driver for a second there, Magnussen. And you've done exactly the same thing. Is he out of the session? I don't know if... He's out. He's out. It's a collision. I was just saying, if we beat Bottas, that'd be great. You didn't even take out Bottas. We can take a look he took out Carlos Sainz. We were in for a podium. So that's both drivers crashing out, and it was both their fault. Brilliant. This is this is brilliant stuff. So they're both going to have grid penalties for next Grand Prix as well. What do I have to do? Watch the rest of this race. Yeah, we've retired the car. We've retired both cars. Can I skip to the end? No, I've got to watch the rest of this bloody race as well. Oh, my God. Russell's made a mistake. 
<laughs> Russell's down in the P13. He's crashed. Russell has crashed. All right, at least one of the Mercedes isn't getting points. What's he done? He's gone for a move. He's around the outside. Does he lose it? Oh, yeah, yeah. he's crashed with the LP. He lost his front wing. Brilliant. All right, that's, that's at least one of the Mercedes not scoring points. But the other one's in a podium position, still with a chance to win the blooming race. But at least George Russell won't be scoring points. Bottas in P2. He's fighting. He's fighting for, for a race win. We'll watch the end of this Grand Prix. We'll watch it on the final lap to see what happens. There is two laps to go now. You've got three drivers all fighting for it. So here we go. Coming on to the final lap of the Grand Prix. It's getting spicy. Bottas looking for a move on Verstappen and potentially Leclerc. But Leclerc's just got to hold on for one more lap. And he takes home victory. I'm not sure who's winning the Drivers' Championship. I actually haven't had a look at it. I know the Constructors is very close between Red Bull and Ferrari. Um, but I'm sure Leclerc would love a win here in Canada. And I think he extends his advantage. I, was I think he was winning. But Verstappen's going to have a go at him down this straight. If not, he's going to go for the next one. So Verstappen sticks behind for now. He's going to have a go at the very final straight in this Grand Prix. There's two temps between them. Bottas and Perez still have a chance. Perez goes to remove on Bottas. Bottas says no. Here we go though. Verstappen with DRS. Can he make a move on Max Verstappen going into the final corner? Verstappen is going to have to go a little long way around as Leclerc tries to defend, but Verstappen gets the job done at the final chicane. Verstappen come over for P1. Can Bottas steal P2 from Leclerc? Yes, he can. Bottas takes P2 from Leclerc. Not good for us, but what late drama that was. Leclerc drops all the way down to P3 in the end after leading the final lap. So a bit of a tragic final lap. Albon, Latifi! Latifi! What? Nicholas Latifi finishes P6. Are you out of your mind? Albon P5 was a surprise. I looked down one more. Latifi P6. Ocon P7. Oh, this is a weird, weird ra race. I mean, Magnus and Gazi, Ricardo Vettel, Norris and Sainz all t basically took each other out. So, I mean, that's six spots right there. But Nicholas Latifi P6. What is going on? Hold on. No, no, no. You crashed out, mate. Why are you, why are you even here? You crashed out. You're right, you really couldn't have. That was the worst case scenario. Both drivers, it was both their faults as well. Nicholas Latifi up 14 places to finish P6 and score 8 points for Aston Martin. At least George Russell didn't score points, but neither did my two drivers. Bottas comes home in P2 and takes 18 points home for Mercedes. And uh, Leclerc down in P3. Let's have a look. Yeah, so Leclerc is leading the driver's standings. So that was a big result for Max Verstappen to close that gap a little bit more. Um... Yeah, that's that's tragic. Well, what's the construct? Okay, so we've lost a bit of points. 26 points now. Could have been worse, but it, it's a really bad weekend for us. It, it really is. Aston Martin, look at that. They've, they've got big points here with, with Nicholas Latifi, and that's helped them get close to McLaren. McLaren, who we thought were going to be fighting us at the end of the season, have dropped down a P8. So they're having a stinker. Ferrari and Red Bull are fighting. Oh, what a stinky weekend that is. It was looking so good. We looked fast. We looked like we could have got a podium with Magnussen. And then that had to happen. Both drivers crashing out. I mean, tragic, tragic day. But if you did enjoy this episode, make sure you go ahead. Oh, next race is Silverstone. So, um, well, my home Grand Prix is Team Principal. If you did enjoy this Grand Prix, or this Grand Prix, this episode, I didn't. It was shit. But if you did, I get a blimmin' heck. Yeah, both our front wings are probably gone as well. Chassis front. Oh, we're going to have to manufacture more parts. So that's more money. Nice one. All right. Well, if you did enjoy this episode, make sure you go ahead, leave a like, uh, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.